the customization would mean right so so customization um, first thing that uh, we are going to talk here is the user interface okay there are certain other things that uh, we will talk gradually but today we are primarily going to talk on the user interface or the ui customization ui customization means how do you want the user interface to look like okay um, if let's say you have four fields on accounts uh, let me just log in into salesforce and uh, show it to you give me a minute uh, Suresh can you please uh, send me the password thanks Suresh Okay, so just logged in into this. Now, uh, user interface customization will include a few things. It basically talks about the page layout. Page layout is what, when you open a record, you see the details of that record, right? Like this record I have opened. Now customization, one part of the customization will be the field placement, which field should appear where. Now if your website field is more important and you want the website field to come up here, sometimes it may happen that you have let's say so many fields, right? Your end user wants to quickly look into the website. It's difficult for him to go and search for the website and all he wants the website to be at the top. That's a type of customization, right? UI customization. Okay. So in Salesforce we have page layouts page layout is what we call it page layouts allow you to set the field placement which field should be uh, placed where second thing that it helps uh, you do is make fields required make fields invisible certain fields if you don't want the user to view a few fields you can make them invisible on the page layout so basically we are not deleting it so it's not deleting the field it's just making it invisible sometimes it happens when you just want uh, the field to be invisible to certain users and all certain fields can be made required okay or you can also make certain fields read only And you can make uh, related lists visible or invisible whatever you want you can remove the related list or you can bring in the related list what is the related list basically related list is primarily the uh, list of child records so when I say related list, I mean list of child records. Okay. So you can make the fields required, you can make fields read only, you can make fields invisible, you can make uh, the related list visible or uh, invisible. This is what we primarily do on the page layout. Okay. Now page layout is for a particular record. For one single uh, record right 
So the page layouts are primarily for objects. Got it? So you will have a page layout for account, then you can have one for opportunity. Okay, so every object, whatever you see in Salesforce does have page layout. Minimum one page layout is there, they can have more also. You can have multiple page layouts for the same object. Like for account, this is the page layout, right? Your standard objects, custom objects, whatever you have in Salesforce, everything does have page layout, right? Now, if you have to edit this page layout, how will you do this? Just going to the setup, customize, accounts, page layouts. Got it? So this is where you go and you can click on account layout, edit this. And Salesforce will allow you to make changes to the page layout. Ajit, uh, can you please repeat that process? You said the setup, go to setup. Setup, customize. Accounts, page layouts. Alright, so from setup go to customize, then go to accounts and then go to page layouts. And under page layouts just click on edit account layout. So if you are on this screen, you just need to click on edit account layout. Right? So now it's you know as simple as a video game. So you don't have to do anything, you just have to do the placements of the fields website you want to bring here that's it the rating you want to bring after the fact symbol take it in so there is nothing uh, that we have to actually understand the only thing that we need to understand is you know how to go to this page layout thing and how to edit these things so sometimes your user might have requirement of you know viewing certain fields at the top of the other fields you should come and do the placement of the fields like you want the annual revenue to be here after the website bring it there uh, you want the SIC code to go there, bring it here, right? So field placements we can understand, right? That is something which can be done easily here. If you want certain fields to be not visible, you just need to come here on that particular field. You will see this button, just go and click on this remove. The field will be removed. Let's say this field also I want to remove. Okay, so you can remove the fields this way. If you want to bring certain field which is already not there, at the top you have this fields option. All the fields which are there in that object are listed here. Any field that you want to bring, you can drag and bring it here, wherever you want to drop it. So it's a complete drag and drop thing. Got it? So. Uh, First thing about page layouts we have understood say field placements and this is easy. Make fields required. Now how do you make the fields required? Whichever field you see uh, once you take your mouse over that you will see this icon small wrench icon. You just click on this and you will have the option of making the field required or read only which whatever you want to do. Okay. So making field required means that field will become a mandatory field, right? So if you want to make industry a mandatory field, just go on this and click say required. Now you see there is a star mark which has come here, which means this has become a required field now. Annual revenue, you want to make it a required field. It's at this point of time, it is not required. You can just go here and click on this and this will be make it required becomes a required field now right so based on uh, you know your business requirement or the business process you can make any field required is that fine easy to understand any difficulties understanding this simple stuff okay so that's about our uh, Um, making the fields required and making fields read only, making them invisible. So uh, we have understood the fields part of it, how to make changes on the fields and uh, 
the other thing that uh, we have, can do here is deal with the related list related list is what list of child records like account has contacts so the list of contacts which are associated to a given account these things usually appear here see these are the related lists the list of contacts and other account list of opportunities list of cases so it's the same way if you want opportunities on top of contacts you can just drag and put it here it depends on you know what you want to see you know at the top if your company wants you to display the cases at the top so take it there if they want you to display the contacts at the top you take it there if your opportunities should be at the second take it there so that is how it is right you want to remove a related list you just go here and click on this the related list will be removed okay clear and this using this properties you can define which all fields of the related list you want to see right now for contact name title email and phone number are visible right uh, you want to see the fax number also for the contacts the list of contacts you can just click on this properties and then you can quickly bring this fax field here so these right side are the selected fields left side are the available fields so you bring it to the right side click on ok see your fax will also be visible it so depends you know what uh, data your end user wants to see on the related list you can make those fields available so, alright so that's clear any questions on this so far so that's basically about the page layout now once you've made these changes you just have to make sure that before you exit this uh, screen you just click on the save button if you don't save it the changes will not be saved saved now if you go to any of the account you will see the changes have been made now the users will get to see the updated UI website annual revenue appears here in the contact fax number got added is what I did is this okay we are all okay good with this tell me if there is a question fine so page layout concept we have understood so basically how to edit the page layout that we have understood right now the next thing that we are going to talk about is multiple page layouts for the same object why do you think we will need multiple more than one page layout for the same object why do you think we will need that anyone who can tell me that why do you think we need more page layouts on the same object anyone Uh, actually, uh, one co according to company requirements, one company can make some requirements uh, according to them. We have to make up multiple page layouts. Then within the same company, let's say you're working for the company, within oh. your company only you can have multiple page layouts. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that will be? The look and feel, the user interface, the look and feel good. Uh, but look and feel good right but why two different look and feels when we talk about look and feel so we can keep the better one right which looks better but why are we talking about two different page layouts for the same object don't you think salesforce will get confused if you uh, create two different page layouts which one to display layout one or layout two go back think about what we discussed in our last session you might get some hint last two sessions what we have been talking about mm -hmm. 
जी था जैसे राम के तो हैव यू गोट समथिंग टू डू विद द यू नो द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द परमिशन दैट वी प्रोवाइड टू सर्टेन यूजर्स यस इट हैज गोट टू डू विद दैट ओके सो वी जस्ट यू नो इन सेल्स कोर्स वन थिंग इज देयर यू जस्ट नीड टू कीप इट दिस लॉ ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी इन माइंड एवरी यूजर इज नॉट इक्वल देयर आर सम यूजर्स हु हैव मोर परमिशंस एंड देयर आर सम यूजर्स हु हैव लेसर परमिशंस there are some users who need uh, to work on some uh, application there are other users who need to work on some other application right everyone does not get to see the same data everyone does not get to see all the fields so different page layouts are for different users or different profiles basically got it because we have different profiles we have different page layouts also that's easy simple understandable makes sense right let's say Uh, for an example, for your understanding, let me just give a small example. Think of it. Accounts we are talking about. So in accounts there are let's say hundred fields, and I have a sales team. Sales team says that okay, out of these hundred fields, because there is a so there are so many fields, we don't want to see so many fields. We just want uh, to see the name and uh, phone number, and we want to see the. contacts related list if you are a sales guy then what will you need you need the account name website phone number and you want to see the contacts people who you can contact right now there is this customer support team they come to you and they say no we don't want to see all that stuff we just want to see uh, let's say the name website and uh, we want to see the cases related list we don't want to see the contacts what will you do now customer support team comes to you they say with no just show the cases i do we are not interested in contacts sales team says no we want to see the contacts what will you do there so we cannot have the same page layout working for both these teams got it so different page layouts are for different profiles so now design a sales page layout and give it to the sales team profile assign it to the sales profile so that all the users of the sales profile will get to see a different page layout and the customer support team will get to see a different page layout fine that makes sense simple logic so that is the concept here why do we have multiple page layouts for the same uh, company within the same company because there are different profiles and their requirements can be different right so for the standard uh, objects whatever standard objects we have you already have multiple page layouts so if you look into this uh, for account click on the page layouts and what you see is four page layouts which are already there so what do we see here marketing layout sales layout support layout only account layout you can create more if you have more requirement you can create more page layouts as well clear everyone is fine with that I hope so right so multiple page layouts are meant for different profiles all right so uh let's do a quick uh, activity so i want everyone to go and change the opportunity page layout okay and from that opportunity page layout i want you to remove amount and uh, expected revenue fees okay so this is what i want you to do on the opportunity page layout go and remove the amount and expected revenue fees these two fields need to be removed okay everyone to uh, work on this quickly 2 minutes for this small activity